Hello and welcome to Small Golds update on the National Bank of Kazakhstan's gold reserves for the month of July 2017. Kazakhstan splashes into the top 20 gold holding nations. The National Bank of Kazakhstan passes the Central Bank of Austria to claim 19th place amongst gold holding nations. Kazakhstan added 1.8 866 tons or about 60,000 ounces of gold to her reserves in July. Total gold reserves stood at 280.8 tons or 9.03 million ounces at the end of July. Kazakhstan reports at the end of each month for the prior month. So at August 31st, they reported their July holdings. Now last year, Kazakhstan added 36.1 tons, 0.19 tons of gold or about 1.163 million ounces. The National Bank of Kazakhstan, along with the Central Bank of Russia and the People's Bank of China, has been one of the few central banks that have been adding to gold reserves over the past year. We've seen that the People's Bank of China stopped adding gold to her reserves in October through July. We'll be getting their August numbers in a couple of days. As of July, the Central Bank of Kazakhstan now has a string of 58 straight months in a row of adding gold to her reserves. And you can see here, 198 tons of gold that they had in 2015, the beginning of the year. And now they're at 281 tons. There's your pitch to donate to small gold via PayPal, via Bitcoin, or via Litecoin. You can do so below or you could become a patron. Now, gold is a percentage of Kazakhstan's foreign reserves. It's now about 34.7% of overall reserves. They only added 60,000 ounces in July. They had been adding 100, 120,000 ounces, but their reserves in general went up in July. So their gold as a percentage of reserves had has dropped now. So their foreign reserves are up to 32.9 billion and their gold is worth about 11 point. Four billion. Well, that's still a lot of gold for an emerging country to have as a percentage of overall reserves. In contrast, uh, at the end of May, it looks like Russia had 18% of their reserves in gold and People's Bank of China 2%. Those numbers are still about the same as of the end of July. Now, here we see a new chart. You've got Austria and you got Kazakhstan passing them and they are now firmly within the top 20. Next month, they should pass Spain. And then they've got Lebanon and the United Kingdom and Saudi Arabia in their sights. I would say if they keep up at this pace, oh, maybe in two or three years, they might crack the top 10 and get over 500 tons of gold. They need to get 557, I believe, to catch India. ECB is not a country. They're just included there as a reference point. Click here. You can see the top 40 gold holding nations. Look at this. Gold taking a bit of a spike this evening, rare to see, up to 1334. Just quickly check. Silver, same thing, up 23 cents, very nice. Litecoin up 5%. Oh, we got a lot going on here. Okay, well, thank you very much for listening. By the way, if you're interested in buying gold or silver, you can do so through the links on the Small Gold site, SD Bullion, BGSC, Golden Eagle Coin, Money Metals Exchange, not investment advice that you buy gold or silver, but if you made the decision to do so, please consider comparing pricing and shipping at those links and if you do small gold gets a small commission also by the way we are now on vidme and BitChute, so please check out those channels just type in small gold please follow small gold on vidme and also check out the bid channel i'm trying to migrate all of the channel all of the content over there just as a backup and also well the backup but just in case YouTube considers with its seemingly random censorship. So not that my channel, at least at the moment, I wouldn't believe is under any type of review, but you never know. Also, please subscribe to Smoggle. That's that's the best that you're not on a third party platform. Uh, then you're on just direct connection with Smoggle. You can subscribe to Smoggle by just filling in your email.